In this video, I'm gonna walk you through setting up your Facebook ad and connecting it to a chat bot inside of MiniChat using the JSON or JSON tool inside of MiniChat. So we're just going to be pasting a line of code from MiniChat and putting it into your Facebook ad inside of the Ads Manager account. So this way you can use a button um, when they open up Messenger, when they click on your ad and open up Messenger, you can have a button as opposed to using like a keyword where it has a quick reply where it pops up as a bubble. So you have those different options for testing out and seeing which one one um, performs better with your ads. One thing to keep in mind with the JSON um, code is that it only works inside of Messenger uh, and it doesn't work inside of Instagram just yet. So you can still run ads on Instagram, but when someone clicks on the ads inside of Instagram, it opens up inside of Messenger, not inside of Instagram. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through setting up that uh, JSON ad right here. Basically what you wanna do is go into growth tools inside of Minichat. Excuse me. Set up a new growth tool. I'm going to go down to the Facebook JSON ad. Okay. And then right here, you're going to be able to edit this message. So basically what you want to do, depending on the type of ad you're running, let's say you're running a home buyer ad, uh, you're going to say, welcome, please click um, buy a home below to get started okay and then i'll throw uh, an emoji in there point pointing down and then this button i'm gonna uh, change it to i'm gonna start with a finger pointing at the words and i'm gonna change it to buy a home all right so now this message right here is what they would receive when they click on your ad um, from Facebook or Instagram that open up messenger and get this. And then basically what you want to do is you either connect it to a, a existing flow that you have, uh, to pre-qualify them as a home buyer, or you can create your own and, and, uh, do some questions here. We have uh, a template of flow inside of the real estate ball already. So I'm just going to connect it to, uh, that. So let's see, home buyer. Home buyer flow right here. I'm just going to connect it. <clears throat> All right. So now when they click on this button, they receive this message. Uh, they're going to open up and it's going to go into the home buyer flow. So all I want to do is hit publish here. And now this uh, uh, line of code pops up for the JSON code. So I'm just going to copy it. And now I'm going into um, inside of my uh, ads manager account. I'm going to create a new ad. Uh, for messages, you're going to use engagement to get more messenger messages. I'm going to hit continue. I'll go ahead and change that special ad category to housing. Uh, I would, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the Facebook page. Okay, and then I would unselect Instagram. Again, it's going to run on Instagram, but it's not going to run in the messaging app on Instagram for the JSON uh, codes. So you change your uh, targeting audience, uh, you know, drop it inside of your, drop a pin inside of your city and uh, do the 15 mile radius around that. And then you're going to select your uh, image or video. You're gonna do your primary text, your headline, and your call to action, and then inside of message message template, that's where you're going to set up the JSON uh, code. So at, under advanced setup right here, you click uh, edit, and basically you want to select all of it, delete it, make sure that it shows empty, because uh, if you so select uh, on the wrong line, it might not select everything. And then you're going to hit paste. And you're going to see right here that that's what's going to show up when people click on um, that uh, that ad. So I would, all I would do here is uh, rename it. I would uh, preview it. I would hit, hit save and finish and basically publish the ad from here. Um, so it's that simple to set up the JSON code. You should be good to go at this point. Um, just make sure you test it and, and run it, run the ad and then test it because sometimes when you're testing the messenger connection with uh, Facebook, it, it kind of gives a little bit of uh, error sometimes and doesn't necessarily work how it's going to work when it's actually fully published. So uh, make sure you just go ahead and publish it and then 
test it and make sure that people are coming in. You know, you check the first day or two as you're running your ad, make sure that people are clicking into the, uh, the ad and through into Messenger. All right, uh, if you guys have any questions about this video, drop it a comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.